This video is about the Vasco DigiPass 270 Express pin protected personal identification device battery replacement. Um, so once you have the low battery uh, sign, it means that um, you have uh, a few months or weeks uh, to get your device replaced by the bank. And uh, unfortunately, um, for a lot of us, uh, especially during this coronavirus pandemic, you may not have access to your local bank for any reasons. I live overseas and it's hard to imagine when I will be able to get uh, to a physical bank branch. And I called the bank. They said there is nothing they can do to give me access to my online account and basically I'm locked out if the battery runs out. So I went ahead, did a little bit of research, and this is what I came up with. You can actually attach an extra battery to your personal identification device because the key here is that you cannot basically take the battery out of these machines. The moment you take the battery out, the memory is reset and basically you won't be able um, to reuse the machine because uh, your pin will not be um, saved as you're replacing the battery. So there are several ways um, to do this. Uh, what I did, I just got um, another three volts battery and uh, used uh, one of these battery holders. I got them very cheap from Amazon. Uh, I got actually 10 of them for $5 or something. I only needed one. So some of them take two batteries. Be careful, do not do not insert two batteries. You only wanna put one battery in to get your three volts. Um, you can uh, pretty much use any type of um, coin battery that uh, matches um, your uh, holder i'm in this case using the cr2032 which is not necessarily the same type of battery as um our pin identification device has it is definitely the same voltage and that is what matters you want to have the same voltage there so what i did i uh removed uh, this front panel here it's uh it comes off easily it's just um adhered, uh, kind of glued there. Uh, be careful not to damage the button. So what I did, I started from one of the corners and uh, completely removed this um, bottom panel, basically. Uh, I had a voltmeter. Um, so if your model is not exactly the same, you'll need a voltmeter to make sure that you're soldering your three volt battery line into the correct um, place on the board. So in, in this particular case um, of this model, these two are both um, negative and this one here right on the top is um, the plus or the positive that I chose for soldering. So negative goes to negative, positive goes to positive, so as you see, it's it's pretty bulky there. Um, so I had to cut the panel to kind of put it back so that uh, it would start working. So yet again, if uh, you really want to replace the battery, uh, it's a little bit more work because you have to find the exact battery. And then after you solder your uh, backup battery, basically, then you're uh, good to go to replace the battery. But um, for me, it was too much work. I don't log in that often to, to the bank account. I just wanted to uh, make sure that I can once in a while turn it on and uh, without being too much worried about um, the battery, uh, get uh, the password going. So um, as you see here, I had to make some cuts on the panel to make sure that the buttons are functional. Uh, it's a little bit of... Uh, finesse uh, sort of um, cutting here. Um, I'm sure you can make it better and nicer. I just, I'm just giving you the idea of how to do this so that 
if you have no other way and your battery is low and it's gonna die um there's not much you can lose here it's uh you're gonna lose access anyway so you can give it a try once your battery low battery um, sign is telling you that you don't have much time so it's like bat zero or bat one um, so that's what I did uh, and uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it turned out um, here we go we can enter the pin whatever it is um, of course I'm not telling you what my pin is 